This is my whip fabric bin and let's have a look inside today because we are going to have a whip parade. Hello again Floss Tube. It has been a hot minute since I recorded anything Floss Tube related and I have been stitching, but I've been incredibly antisocial regarding my stitching. So I haven't been posting on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook for a long time. Um, and I just, it was because for a few years, I just kind of got tired of people. And, but then I started missing floss tubes. So I have decided to try again to be a little more social with my cross stitch because I really did miss um, talking with people but people were just getting so I don't know annoying I guess so I just needed everyone to fuck off for a little while and then now I'm better so um, thank you for anyone who is still subscribed to me, I don't hold it against anyone who has unsubscribed, but I appreciate those of you that have stuck around, even with me not posting. Um, I really do want to try to make this a more regular thing because I really, 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 really missed doing this. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the whip parade. The first whip I have is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Secret Slay Society Stitch Along that I am not done with. This fabric is 28 Count Lugana and it's in the color Gingerbread by Picture This Plus. Second whip I have is from Clouds Factory. It's the Epic Storybook Princesses pattern, and I'm doing this on 32 Count Lugana in Peacock. That's the fabric, and I have done the castle, and the little flourishes over here and I didn't have one of the blue colors so I just substituted with DMC diamond metallic thread so far I have finished Aladdin and I started on Pocahontas and I am Somebody who does skin one over one, even on these little tiny characters, because I like how it looks, so. And I added the lines on Aladdin for his pecs, because I felt like he needed them. And I think that's all the changes that I made to that one. Oh, the last fabric that I showed you is from Fiberlicious. And this next project is, I forget the designer, but it's a paper pattern and it is a bunch of words. And it's all about the police. And it makes a police car. And this fabric is Veil of the Night by Fiberlicious. And it's 32 Count Lugana. This next project is on Vintage Country Mocha fabric from Zweigart, and I just got that off 123stitch.com and this is my Heaven and Earth Designs Egyptian Queen. And she has threads all over her face right now, but that's because I was working on top part of her 
forehead, but I've got basically most of her face done. And I really just love her eye color. So pretty. And this is 25 Count Lugana. This next project is a pattern I got off Etsy. Um, it's by Cross Stitch Nitta, N I T T A. And it's Toothless and Light Fury. I have about two pages done on this and the fabric is from Color and Cotton and it's actually one that I won from a giveaway. Um, it's 32 count Jobelin in the color Moonstone and I had never used Jobelin before but I find it very nice. It's very soft to touch so it's nice to stitch on. This next project is on a fabric that I dyed myself with ice dye. And I just had like tie-dye color that I just poured over ice and then put the fabric on it and then it dripped the color onto the fabric. This is a MCG textiles fabric from Hobby Lobby. And I have this little Sydney Opera House. This is um, a soda stitch pattern. It's the world's postage stamp. So there's going to be all different countries in the form of stamps. This next project is Rosie the Riveter by Mystic Stitch. And I chose a red, white, and blue patriotic fabric to stitch it on. I felt that was appropriate. And this is one of my projects that I've actually started in the top left corner. Normally I start in the middle, but I got one of those little blocks that you can use to measure out from your fabric from the top to figure out where to start from the top left. So I thought I would use that and try it out. So I tried it on this pattern. And the fabric is called Liberty and it is from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie, and it's 18 count Ada. This next project is Patrick Bateman, and this is just, is that facing the right way? I think it goes this way. This is just 25 count white Lugana, and I got it from Hobby Lobby, and I think that's Patrick Bateman's nose right there. Um, you can see the Egyptian Queen over here. I actually restarted on that other fabric because I was doing it on here, but I decided I wanted the fabric for the Egyptian Queen to be more exciting, so I ordered that sandy brown color that reminds me of the Egyptian pyramids and then decided that Patrick Bateman should be on this 25 count Lugana because initially I had started him on an 18 count Ada and I didn't really like how that felt and so because I like stitching pictures on 25 count so that the detail is way more um, prominent so that it doesn't look so pixelated, I decided to change Patrick to 25 count Lugana. And the Patrick Bateman pattern is one I got off Etsy from Cat's Cross Stitchery. And... This next pattern is a heaven and earth design. It's mini vanity. And this is also 25 count white Lugana. And I just have a lot of her dress. And then I started stitching in the metallic here. And I'm using the Krynic color that is suggested on the pattern. This next pattern is Museum Shelf by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is Stormy Night Lugana. 25 count from Zweigart. I got off one, two, three stitch and 
started in the middle and it doesn't really look like anything right now, but... This next project is from Circus Stitches or Shell Stitches on Etsy and it's the Iron Man quote, I don't want to be, no, I don't want to join your super secret boy band. And this fabric is 28 count Opal Lugana and it is in the color Chocolate by Fiberlicious. This next project is Thing 1 and Thing 2 by Nanny G, I believe, on Etsy. And the fabric is Sea Flames, and it's 32 Count Lugana by Fiberlicious. And I am stitching this as a birth sampler for one of my sisters-in-law, and she really likes thing one and thing two from Dr. Seuss and she also has twins so I thought that was appropriate. This next project is two projects that I put on one piece of fabric and I'm kind of finagling the second project to go around the first one and I also dyed this fabric myself with the ice dye like I did with the other one and it's also MCG textiles it's actually the other half of that piece because I just bought a giant piece and I dyed this one a little different I used blue and black instead of just pure green um, the patterns on here are the sex on the beach recipe for like the cocktail drink and then this rum and coke and the little strawberry margarita are a pink cocktails pattern and I believe they're by the same designer but I thought I would combine them both on here just because it's all it's all alcohol related and I thought it would be fun to have fun cocktails stitched around the main recipe This next project is one I haven't started yet, but I picked out the fabric because I, even though I was being antisocial with my cross stitching, I was still receiving the newsletters from all the different companies that I have bought from before. And Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery sent me an email about a new stitch along called the Castle Homecoming Club. And I thought, what better way to get back into sort of publicly stitching I guess or being more social with my stitching than to join a stitch along so and I like medieval stuff and my middle name is Knight so yeah it just fit so anyway um, so this will just be a piece of fabric but this is what I'm going to use to stitch the Castle Homecoming Club from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and this is made by Fiberlicious and it is called Eucalyptus Showers, and it is a 32 count Lugana. And I picked it because the recommended fabric that Frosted Pumpkin suggested was Valor by Picture This Plus, which was kind of like a mottled green type of color, so I thought this would be appropriate for that. And I wanted to use something out of my stash since I have a lot of fabric, so yeah. This is a new start that I want to do. It's a Dimensions kit, Welcome to Group Therapy, and it has everything in it. And I haven't started it yet, but it's in my whip box because I wanted to start it and I wanted to find a different fabric for it because I don't really like stitching on Ada that much, so I don't do it that often. So I thought I could find some kind of dark Lugana to stitch it on. Um, this is a piece of fabric I dyed myself. It's the Ada that came in the kit with this In the Moment by Dimensions. I kind of got tired of stitching it. I don't know. It was probably the fabric, even though it's a nice pretty purple. I just don't think I was enjoying myself, so I actually stopped this project. But I don't know if I will pick it up again with a different fabric, if that would make me feel better. Or maybe I didn't like, because some of these have like half stitches, and then they were wanting me to use like three strands, and so I wasn't sure if like 
that was making me not want to do it or something, but I don't know. I will figure that out later. This next thing I have is technically not started either. It's a dishcloth with some cross stitch down here for me to do. And it's this pattern, Squeeze the Day. I got it in the everything cross stitch. Um, it's not really a mystery box because they tell you what's inside it, but it's a, they call it the stitch and stuff box. Um, this was from a few years ago, but it was all kitchen themed. And so I got a kitchen towel, this design, a bunch of thread for the design and um, scissors. And then I got a magnet and then a, I also got that thing I was telling you about where you can like measure the corner, this thing. This is not the actual thing. This is the package it came in because I've taken it out and since used it. But I actually wanted this, which is why I bought the stitching box. Um, but this pattern is very cool. And I liked that too. So I'm going to stitch that as well. So it's why it's in my project box because I want to make sure that I remember that I have it because I have a problem with that where I'll buy a pattern and think it's cool and I always think it's cool but then I'll put it in my stash and then I'll like forget that I bought it until like years later and I'm like oh yeah I had that and then I yeah so it's better for me to just put new starts into my project box so that I know that they're there so that I can stitch them. This fabric is Midnight Splendor 28 count Opal Lugana by Fiberlicious and it looks like this. And I'm stitching two projects on it, two small projects. So this one is all beads. And it's called Queen of Cross Stitch. And it was a freebie by Pinoy Stitch. And it actually on the pattern says Queen of Cross Stitch. But I liked Game of Thrones. And so I'm changing it to Khaleesi of Cross Stitch. Because I just thought that would be fun. And then... This one over here is a Teresa Wensler free pattern. It's the dragon and he's holding a crystal ball made of Krynik. And then he's got Krynik metallic all down his back. And these beads, I'm using Delica beads and I ordered them from Fire Mountain Crafts and they're very, very fun to stitch with because they're very smooth and they go on the needle really well. And I'm using, I'm not actually using the Nymo beading um, floss because I apparently ordered like a mystery box a while ago and it gave me some beading floss. So I'm using that and it seems to be working okay. I don't really know what brand it is, but I thought I would use it since I had it. The next project is on Fiberlicious Marvelous, and it's 28 count Opal Lugana. And this is a pattern from Emma Congdon or Stitch Rovia. And it's called Be Ink Spired. And I have two pages done of it. The top half. And me being what I do with skin, this is all one over one just because I like how it looks very smooth. And I love all the colors in this. Um, I actually changed the color of the flower here because I have a thing where I don't really like red and yellow together, like next to each other, because I had a bad college experience and my college colors were red and yellow. So I don't always change it like this looked okay, but like the flower, I just really didn't want to be red and yellow. So I used, I believe it's like a variegated floss from like Moe's Sale, who's a seller, cross-stitch seller online that I'm sure a lot of you know of. And I think I'm using the Captain America color that she gave me. 
Because I had ordered like a floss, random floss pack from her, and she had sent four like Captain America named threads, and I was like, yes, I need to use those. This next pattern is from Natalie Needlework, and it's Yoda. And the fabric is Poseidon's Cave by Fiberlicious, and it is a 28 count opalescent Lugana. And I have, I guess, a quarter of Yoda done. And when it's done, he'll say, do or do not, there is no try, and it'll be like in the shape of him, but with the words. This is another new start that I have in my project box. It's, um, this is Wicked Night Fabric from Fiberlicious. It's 32 count Lugana. And I'm going to start this pattern, How to Spot a Supervillain. This is from the X-Stitch magazine. Mr. X-Stitch does themed magazines. Um, he did a superhero and supervillain themed magazine, and so I had to have that, so I bought that and gonna do that on that fabric. And then I have another thing in this same bag that I've been keeping things in. This other pattern is by, oh, the Spot of Supervillain. Who did that one? I think um, Pyro Pigeons is probably their name. Um, this next one that I have in here is going to be, uh, it's Punch Today in the Face and it's by Stitchpiration. And I actually changed all the colors of the dots on mine to red, white, and blue. This is what I have right now. Oh, that's upside down. And this fabric is Neverland by Fiberlicious and it is 28 count Opal Lugana. And I took this pattern to a retreat a few years ago and I actually got pretty far on it. And then when I came home, I think I did a little bit more on it. So this wasn't all done at the retreat, but. Um, this next fabric is Frosty Mint by Fiberlicious. It's 32 count Lugana. And I am doing two patterns on here. One is called Dashing Through the Hell No instead of snow and the other one is fa la 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 wine and these patterns are by peacock and fig and she had like a sort of stitch along type of thing where it was like you would do some starts and so i i forget what it was called but she had a clever name for it, so I started those for that event. This next pattern is also by Peacock and Fig, coincidentally. This is also from my Heroes and Supervillains magazine, and it is Be the Villain in Your Own Story. Stab something every day. And I just thought that was really cool because I like stabbing fabric. It's fun. So, um, I'm doing this on A Dance of Autumn by Fiberlicious. It's 32 count Lugana. I have a few of the words stitched. Somehow my lines are off right here. This is in the pattern. It's supposed to be like there's kind of supposed to be parallel but mine are like touching for some weird reason and I'm not sure if it's because this is even weave so it's like um when you're stitching sometimes you like put it in the wrong like middle hole or something that Ada doesn't have because Ada just has like 
one block and then this actually has like six little holes when you're trying to stitch over two I don't know what went on with that but that's just gonna stay that way because I want it to so and earlier I had a sneezing fit and that if you're wondering why I seem to not be able to talk right now this next pattern is by clouds factory it's their CSI little people pattern and it's on Fiberlicious 28 count opalescent Lugana. The color is waiting for you. And I have three of them done. I have Warwick, Catherine, and Gil finished. And I changed the eye color to the color of the actual actor's eyes. And CSI is kind of special to me because it was the first show that I really started watching that I really, really, really liked. And their premiere date for the very first episode of season one happens to be my birthday. Not the year, but the day, October 6th of 2001, was when CSI premiered and I was born on October 6th. Not in 2001, but still. This next pattern is by Soda Stitch. It's the wine. <clears throat> allergies, man, I tell you, living in the Midwest and summertime hits and allergies just decide to attack all at once. And I took my allergy medicine, but it just seems to be something crazy in the air that is just making me not able to talk especially when it's like oh today's the day i want to film yeah today's the day the allergies are going to be like Har. so anyway um this is fiberlicious jadeite and it is a 32 count lugana and i have white wine red wine sweet red wine and some of the back stitching completed here because I don't really like back stitching, so I try to do it as I go so I don't have to do like the entire project in back stitching at the end because I think that would just make me not want to do my project anymore. So I've also back stitched the white wine and I've started on whatever this is. I'm not sure what it is right now, but. This next project is a new start that I haven't started anything on, but it's a hilarious thing I found at Hobby Lobby. It is I Love Pretzel Day. And it's Dunder Mifflin office themed, and I thought that was hilarious. So I'm gonna do that on this fabric which is 28 count opal lugana from fiberlicious it's called hidden treasures and it's basically the color of pretzels so um i did do a floss toss and i think it should be fine because this is a little bit darker than the fabric and then there's this bright orange that came with it so it will stand out even though this is the color of pretzels. This next project is one of my Captain America projects. Um, it's by Cause Stitching, so K-A-A apostrophe S stitching on Etsy. And I guess I'm using half of this fabric, but this fabric is Nyad by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I really liked it, so I guess I bought a big, long piece of it, and Captain America gets to be on half of this, and it's his head, but it's him with his mask on on one side, and then him without his mask on on the other side, so I think the pattern is officially called, like, Steve Rogers Captain America or something, because it's like what he looks like with his helmet and without his helmet. 
I'm actually doing a lot of color changes on this because I think this pattern was is either all white or all black like floss and then you just pick like a solid colored fabric to do it on but I decided to change that and I'm actually stitching like the black here so I actually like stitched his eye color instead of it being like a silhouette because I think it looks cool and then here I changed like his hairline and stuff because I think it was more like just a silhouette so I'm changing it to be like his actual hair color or at least as close as I can get anyway um, this next pattern is done on Fall Foliage, 28 count Opal Lugana by Fiberlicious. And it's a pattern from... I don't remember right now, so I'll tell you... Or No, Spruce Craft. Spruce Craft Co., I think, is the company name. And it's called Zero Stars, and... It's a, it says 2020 zero stars would not recommend. So it's like a review of 2020 and I changed the colors to these colors because I felt like it. And I thought about changing the review to something that I would say instead of do not recommend, but I haven't figured out what I want to change my review to say yet. But so far, I have finished the 2020 part of the pattern. This next thing is on Maldives by Fiberlicious. It's 28 count Opal Lugana. And there's two patterns on here. I just randomly stitched a small one. And it says, well, aren't we just a ray of fucking sunshine? And there's a blank spot here because there was in the pattern there was like a birdhouse and some birds and I didn't really want to stitch that so I didn't. And yeah. But for some reason I always want to say this in a Scottish accent like, well, aren't we just today a fucking sunshine? I don't know why. It just sounds cool. And this up here is something that I designed. I really don't like political correctness, so this is going to spell out the F word up here. But I am not done with that. And I think I feel like I started too close to the top for this, but tis what it is. This next project appears to be another one of my Game of Thrones Khaleesi themed projects. It's done on a fabric called Persephone by Fiberlicious and it is 28 count Opal Lugana. And it's a very small pattern so I'm just doing it at the top half of this fabric and then I can use the other half for something else. But it just says, I'm not a princess, I'm a Khaleesi, but I have not started the other word yet. So... The I'm not a princess, I'm a Khaleesi pattern is by Pixel Power, and I can't remember if they are an Etsy store or if they are just an online store, but I found them online. This next project is done on Fiberlicious Where Shadow Used to Fall fabric. It's Opalescent Lugana. And this is a pattern from Stony Creek, and it's called Haunted Welcome and I think this is the top of it. This is like a going to be a headstone. So it's a Halloween pattern. This next pattern is one I designed and I'm doing it on aquamarine fabric. It's 32 count Lugana and it is by Fiberlicious. And I'm not going to say what it is because this is technically a gift for someone, but it's going to have one of the quotes by one of her favorite artists, I think. 
on there and one of her favorite animals. So I guess if she watches and figures it out, then oh well. But I left some stuff out, so it's not going to only be the animal she likes and a quote she likes. So haha. -ha. This project is done on Fiberlicious 32 Count Lugana in Maldivian Dreams is the color and it goes from blue to green. And this is my Mucha inspired Pocahontas and I did start in the middle um, but then because I like to do skin one over one, I was having a hard time figuring out what was her skin and what was not because her hair and her dress were all different colors. And so I was getting a little confused. So I decided I would just do the first page from the top left corner since I had that nifty tool to measure over how much fabric I needed to leave so that for finishing purposes. So I ended up finishing page one and on the pattern it's all yellow like filled in but I decided because I got this fabric specifically for Pocahontas to be walking through like a forest that's why it goes from blue to green um, that I would leave out the fil filled in coverage part of it so that the fabric could shine through. And I think it turned out really well. And I believe this is her hair. So I will probably be able to figure out where, what her skin is. And I might have to take some of this stuff out if I did it wrong, but we shall see. This next pattern is also a gift. Um, and she already knows what most of it is going to look like. I'm just going to surprise her with the border that I've added on to it. So I'm still going to show it so that you guys can see. I'm currently working on the border, but I'm not going to show you guys that right now. Just so that my friend, if she watches, she'll still be surprised. But she has seen the words already and... These are her favorite swear words. So <laughs> that is just a funny sarcastic pattern that I'm working on. And I did do these little flourishes under each of the words in metallic. And this fabric is Huntress. It's 32 count Lugano by Fiberlicious. This next project is one of my Mirabilia's. I only have two and um, this is Portrait of Veronica and it's done on Monster Mash Lugana 32 count by Picture This Plus. I can never remember which way this stuff goes. I really should do that thing again where I used to stitch like temporarily stitch like an arrow at the top of my fabric to like point like this way up but apparently I don't do that on everything when I should so I think it goes this way because I started in the middle so this is her dress and I got the pattern because my name is Veronica and I was like hey portrait of Veronica cool uh, but she is like sitting in a chair backwards looking out the window or something like that and she's wearing a really fancy dress so and the monster mash is like green and black and so i thought it kind of fit with her dress so i thought that would be good fabric for this this next project is another gift for a friend he's probably not going to watch this but he already knows what it's going to look like anyway so it won't matter if he does watch this um, this fabric is Skyfall and it's 32 count Lugana and it's by Fiberlicious and this is going to be a Darth Vader helmet when I am done and I don't remember the pattern person's 
store, but they're on Etsy. I'll put that when I edit the video so you'll know. This next pattern is one I designed and it's on sale in my Etsy shop. I feel like I want to rename my Etsy shop so I won't say what it is right now, but anyway, um, this pattern is called Courage and it's on Cafe Misto 28 Count Opal Lugana by Fiberlicious and it's going to say courage is being brave despite being scared shitless and it's all going to be in different alphabets styles so it's up for sale in my store it's like a pdf pattern so if you want to buy it you can i'll put the link below but you can check it out if you want this next project is from Mo Sale and it's May the Floss Be With You. And this is a 18 count Ada from Fiberlicious and it's called Aura. And I thought it looked very space-like so I thought that would fit perfect for a Star Wars pattern. This next pattern is my second Mirabilia and it is Christmas in London. And this fabric is Starburst by Fiberlicious. It's 32 count Lugana. And I am a lot further along on this one than I am on the other one and I know which side it goes up. So this is her dress, the brown dress here. Oh. And then this is like a fountain and then this is like a streamer and like a stocking and yeah I really this is one of my favorite fabrics I think I just really like how bright it is with all the different colors this next project is on 25 count white Lugana it's another portrait one it's Captain America And I'm nearly done with him because all I need is his this bottom corner to be squared out and then I'll be done. I actually took the background out because it was meant to be stitched all navy blue behind him, but I was like, eh, I don't want to do that. So I stitched him on white and I used DMC Diamant Red, which is the metallic thread for his shield and in here I found that the pattern calls for like the tan color of that was used in like his face and I found that a little weird because it's his shield so I think what I'm going to do is frog this all out here the little tan bits that are in his shield and I'm going to use the DMC diamond silver metallic for that part so then his shield will be all shiny as it should be. And this is by Up to X Stitch on Etsy. This project is Polygonal Batman, so it's Batman with all different colors. And the fabric is called Storm, and it's 32 count Lugana by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I thought the fabric name was appropriate for Batman because at one point in one of his movies there's a theme of um, a storm is coming. And I did his face one over one. And I believe this is a page one finish maybe minus these colors that I'm missing here. This project is on Abracadabra, which is a 32 count Lugana by shipsmanner.com. And this is my Clouds Factory, I believe, legendary alphabet stitch along, which I did not um, stay up to date with. I got to letter N and this is the fabric. And I have a 
A through E at the top, then F, G, H, I. J is supposed to be down here, but because of the way I was working, I hadn't gotten to it yet. And then K, L, M, and N, and I did skin one over one on all of these little guys. And then I did the names of them that are spelled out in red crinic. And then I did his eyes in red crinic. And I dotted the eyes in the alphabet, like the names. So if there was an I, I put a bead because I, for some reason, have these extra beads. And I don't know where they're from. And I think they're these. But I think they came with like a cross stitch kit that I don't have anymore. But I have kept the beads, and so I thought I would use them for this. But I found out that I should not put the beads on before I'm done with the project, which seems like a sort of a duh moment. But um, because I use a Q-snap, and so if I have to move the Q-snap, and if the bead is under, then the Q-snap might crush the bead. So I was like annoyingly trying to figure out a way to put the Q-snap on without crushing the bead, but I think I might just have to take the beads off and save myself the trouble of trying to finagle around it and just, I mean, I have a lot of beads you saw in there. It's not like I would run out of beads, so I should just take them off and then I can put my project in the Q-snap and work on it again. This project is done on Amazing Grays by Fiberlicious. It's 32 count Lugana, and this is a pattern off of Etsy um, by Lolita Maid. And it's the House Targaryen Banner. That's the fabric, and then this is the I'm almost done with one of the pages, I believe, but I've got the main part of it finished. Except for the bottom black border, I think I got bored of just stitching black, so I changed to stitching with the variegated thread, which I've changed colors on here. This was originally, I think, done on a really dark fabric and then you use this orange color for the whole thing but I didn't want to do that so I substituted black obviously and then the DMC diamond gold is what this is and then this up here is one of the DMC variegated where it like changes color so it's like orangey to yellow to white. But this is my only pattern I think that's kind of like a sampler style because I'm normally not a fan of those, but this was Game of Thrones and so I think it, because it was tied into like movie stuff, made me want to try it and I really, really like it because it's really cool. This next pattern is out of a magazine it's Doreen Jones stitcher saying and I'm not very far on this I started this for stitch mania one year and then just never picked it up again um, this is on dreaming blossoms by fiberlicious it's 28 count opal lugana and I just have in the middle the first little bit of it and there's some crinic in here Oh, and it's upside down. I was like, that doesn't look right at all. I have no idea what that says. It says of new. And then some crinic. But yes, I need to pick that up again because I've barely done anything on that. 
This next pattern is on Storm Chaser by Fiberlicious. It's 32 count Lagana and it's the Griffin or Crest from Harry Potter. And I have a lot of the middle section at the top finished. I'm getting down to the bottom. I think this was a free pattern from Little Mojo. Okay, I think uh, this is the last whip of mine. It's a Riolis cross stitch kit. It's the Paris. And it's by Alina Mel Melantieva. And this is 18, or no, 14 count Ada. And this is my first time using anchor threads because this is what came with the kit. And it's a printed fabric, so you just stitch in the middle and then, so it's almost like you get matting with your project, which is kind of cool. Because you don't have to like try to figure out if you want to have blank space around your project or not when you're framing it because it just kind of gives it to you. But I am started in the middle and I'm trying to get it to be completed blocks over here because my goal is to do like five blocks this way and I think I have one more and then it will be like the end of the pattern here. But I've made it to the top and then I wanted wanted to fill it in more because I don't like the empty Ada's doing weird things. I don't like like the empty spaces that happen when you like cross country stitch. I feel like I'm a um, 10 by 10 block stitcher. Like I like to have the 10 by 10 block finished before I move on. So, but I also like to start in the center. So for some reason in this one, I started in the center, but then I went cross country and then I ended up not liking it. And so I needed to just like, just take a minute, calm down and actually just go. So I have the past few days been working on this 10 by 10 blocks going up and then to the left to try to get it to be the block style that I like so that I can actually um, want to work on this. So yeah, anyway, um, those were all my projects. So I think this is a good first, um, foray back into floss tube to show you guys everything that I have. And I will probably come back with an update of what I've been working on because I have been working on all kinds of things. Lately, I did that Excel spreadsheet, like I said, and I have numbered all of my projects in the Excel spreadsheet, not necessarily, not necessarily on the projects themselves, because I have some project bags like this. And so what I did was I put, like this is a food with sunglasses bag, so like in my spreadsheet, I put like, I have the realist kit of Paris in the food with sunglasses bag and it is number four. So like if I, then I would use the decision roulette app that I showed you guys in a video like a while ago where you just like, it's like a random number generator. So then I would randomly spin a number and then it happened to be this kit. So, um, yeah, so in the database, I have all of my projects separated by the project bag style. Like I put stickers on the bag. So like this is the red wine bag. And so then in my spreadsheet, it's the red wine bag. So then when I roll a number, it's whatever project it'll be. So I don't have to be like, I guess what I'm trying to say is that me labeling this bag red wine but it's not going to be helpful when I'm like number generating to spin a number. So the numbers are easier for me to pick a pattern, but then 
the little stickers are easier for me to find the pattern in my project box. And it's okay if none of that makes sense to you because it's just the way that I use to figure out my own shit. So um, thank you for watching. If you watched all the way and it, or if you didn't, that's fine too. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my allergies. <laughs> and um, I will come back with some other floss tube stuff. And I'm actually like super excited to put this together and get this uploaded. So um i'm veronica my channel is night stitch and my i have an instagram it's also called night stitch i think it's night dot stitch but um i will try to put more pictures up like progress photos and stuff and try to be a little more social i'm on a bunch of the like stitch along groups like frosted pumpkin stitch along group on facebook the clouds factory stitch along group i think i'm in the epic princesses um pattern group too on facebook so you might see me on there too um if you wanted to see some of my stuff but i really want to try to like put all of my updates in my floss tube videos for you guys to watch and um yeah so uh i'm veronica and i will see you guys next time so thank you for watching and yeah bye